Hello guys, today I want to show you one trick in Laravel how to deal with repeated responses. So for example, if you have some response JSON for APIs and your client requests that you return success true every time or success false if it's an error or something like that. And then every time in every controller you need to get response JSON success true, response JSON success true with data and stuff like that. Or in the case of an error, for example, you decided to deal with that in exception handler and have a separate video around that. So I will link that in the description below how to deal with, for example, every not found exception in all the project. So in case of not found exception for the model, you return success false with 404 status code. So how to deal with that, not to repeat yourself in every controller and make this shorter. For that, you can use such a thing called macros, response macros. So in app service provider, you may define response macro, your name of the macro, and then whatever you want to return. And that callback function may have a parameter. For example, if you just need to return the data, like user, like whatever, or success true with something, you just pass this value into that function, and then it is parsed here. Similar with error, but error may be with different status code. So here we have two parameters and error becomes this one and status code becomes this one. So let's try it out. So here's the list of users in my demo project. And if I launch that from Postman, I have something like this. So success true and then data is the list of users, which I have only one user at the moment, but still there's data. And if we have users one, same thing, I have success true and the data for that particular user from show controller. And if I have non-existing user as a parameter, I get success false object not found from the handler exception here. Now let's change that to macros. So all you need to do is replace this one with return response then the method name, your macro name as a method name, which is success. And then the parameter is whatever you want as a parameter here. Data means data. So it's this one. So we cut or copy and paste. And then this return, let's comment it out. And let's try if it works. So users like this, it still works. So it's one line shorter than just two or three lines if it's formatted. And we can then do the same in other places. So for example, return response JSON should be replaced with user here like this. And then instead of return response JSON here, we have user load rows like this. So it's all then one line. And if we have, for example, user one, it still works. And user two is still an error. And let's replace that one as well. In the exception handler, we do guess what? Can you guess? Return response. What? I don't hear you. Error. Name of the macro here that you define yourself. And there are two parameters. So object not found should be the message. And then status should be 404 like this. And then object not found becomes this one and 404 becomes this one. And if we do the same in postman, nothing changed. The response is still the same and the code is 404. So you can define the macros and make your controller returns shorter. I've seen people doing that in some API controller as a separate layer, but I think macros is like more Laravel-ish way and more in align with general Laravel structure. So you can do that in app service provider and response, by the way, should be added here on top, support facades response. What do you think? What have you used differently maybe for your cases, for your projects? Shoot in the comments below. And if you want daily tips like this one, subscribe to the channel. And also you can subscribe to my weekly newsletter, which I send every Thursday with around 20 links or so about Laravel news, tips, tricks, and my own videos. Subscribe to the newsletter. The link will be in the description below and see you guys in other videos.